Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of First Impressions here at Marauder. I'm Matt and today we're checking out the game My Beautiful Paper Smile, which is a sort of psychological horror game with sort of a creepy hand-drawn art style, which reminds me of, it's not called My Little Nightmares, I can't remember what it was, but it was, it was something like that, but kind of a similar hand-drawn horror game. So I'm pretty excited to check this one out. Also, uh, the Bendy game kind of has a similar feel to that. Minus the sort of like retro cartoon thing. Uh, this one comes from Two Star Games and V Publishing. Uh, I'm excited to dive in. Uh, out June 19th, uh, Chapter 1. Subsequent chapters will roll out over time. Um, but again, Chapter 1 coming to Steam uh, on June 19th. So, without further ado, let's jump in. As you can see, these are the ones that are coming. A Place of Sorrow will be next. But right now, my beautiful escape is what we do have. I hope everyone's excited to hear me poop my pants because that's what is bound to happen. I'm sure it's full of jump scares. My weakness. Uh, as you know, my first impressions and reviews are meant to be me playing the game, opening the box so you don't have to, uh, before knowing if it's something you want to do. Uh, it's not like a final polished review, like something you'd get from like a, an IGN or something like that, but it is me giving you my gameplay review based on those first impressions, letting you know what I think from that first half hour to hour of gameplay. So let's dive on and think of it like a episode one of a Let's Play. Every day we hear one prominent voice. It is the voice of the authorities. Creepy freaking art. Creepy freaking art. They tell us that happiness is life. <coughs> they tell us that sorrow is death. They restrict our minds and emotions. What does that say? In bliss, sorry, I have a little bit of a glare. In bliss, they allow us to prosper, but in depression, they allow o o only torment. By night, I hear a different voice. It is the voice of the lost child whom I cannot see. I wish the writing would go, like, start on the left and go out to the right instead of spreading from the middle, because I, I can start the sentence and then the actual line itself moves away from me because it gets pushed to the left since it's building out from the center. Instead, I see another figure. The lost child. Leave this place, blah, 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 blah. The 2D art style in a 3D world is an interesting touch, almost like a Paper Mario kind of thing. As I sleep, these words run through my mind with pleasure. Weird. I like the little touch of the edge of the mouse. All joyous, awaken. I guess I'm a joyous. Oh, that's cool looking. This like hand sketch thing. Okay. It's good to see you're awake. Did you have any dreams last night? Yes, the lost child visited me again in my sleep. What did he tell you? The authorities are weakening. Did, I, did it say weakening earlier or did I say wakening? I don't know. Our chances of escaping are increasing. The coming of our desertion makes me more fearful of the authorities. They have become severely harsh in recent days. I have worries as well, but we must observe any opportunities. Still can't move. I really like the art, though. The 3D touch on the hand-drawn stuff. So you turn. So you have four sides, but they're like 2D images. There's no rotation. You snap from left to right. I didn't read the bottom. Hopefully it wasn't important. I can pass through my paper friend here. So it looks like we'll be able to point and click. We get this creepy little hand to pick things up. Item added to inventory. Press E to view. We have a ticket. Could be used to watch live entertainment. Gathered one of five. And equipped as your face. Smile always. <coughs> Oops. Meant to hit E to close that. I'm just exploring the shelves. The flickering light's a cool touch as well in this art style. Also, do I have hooves and not boots or feet? All right, I think that's my only item. There's a camera in the room, nice and creepy. And we'll use our creepy finger to open the door. The cell door is still locked. So am I waiting it out or am I looking for a way to unlock it? Anything creepy on the walls or something I can interact with? No, no. All joyous proceed to daily chambers. So that must mean the door... Oh, that's a speaker. So the door must be unlocked now. There we go. God, look at these guys. Can I talk to you? No, nope. can I try to open you? You are never to travel beyond this door. Well, you know I'm going to try now. 
locked, 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 locked. I guess locked. <laughs> all right, more creepy kids. We all have one horn. Not sure what that symbolizes. Some go right, some go left. How would one know the difference between me and my other hooved friend? Smile always, friend. Did you hear the strange commotion that made itself known to us this past night? It was likely the authorities, but still, we did not fear. Does everyone have something to say? Hello? Creepers? Front desk people, talk to me. The zoom and the way it works around these 3D edges is really cool. Thank you for coming, dear children. Your attendance has been filed. Please enter the line on the left, going to today's chamber. So far, deeply unsettling. In fact, I might turn up the sound a bit just so you can hear some of the ambiance. And we're in line. I'm going to regret turning up the sound. It's going to scare me more. In we go. He looks like a Venus flytrap on the side of his head there. Beyond these doors are your testing chambers for the day. That sounds good. The darkness inside will consume you if you do not have a light to conquer it. Take with you a life. An item was added to my inventory. Oh good, a life. Will enhance your spirit with uncorrupted life and emit light and the darkness. Currently unequipped. Well, I want to equip it. Can I equip a ticket too? No? Okay. Had to check. It will provide darkness as you wander and keep you safe. Today, you must learn to use your life, for it will help you greatly in tomorrow's chamber. We got a classic old uh, testing children in a facility type story here. Use its light to find an exit. Do not be afraid. Do not cry. Smile always. You may enter. I couldn't tell you which one of these is me. Although, these have dresses. I don't think I'd address them. One of these two. It's a dice roll, really. <coughs> so, okay, let's test something. If I put this off, does the light go away? Yeah. I'm under this fluorescent here, but let's, like, say in this back corner. Then we equip it. Oh, yeah, sure. It makes us glow a bit. Sets us up for some jumpy scares. My little feet moving. All right, we're not going up yet. We're going to explore floor one. Consider floor one explored. Going to floor two with my dope hair. I look like Linus from freaking Peanuts. Almost got him the chipmunks. Oh, you're terrifying. He looks like the dude from Borderlands. A lot of cameos so far. Ooh, we have a creepy TV. Let's do it. Hello, sir? TV? No? Can't interact with the TV. I can pick up the giant board. These are new. We have love, joy, and peace. Oh, well, that's nice. I'm sure nothing bad will happen here. Patience. Kindness. What exactly is that in my inventory officially? A plank could be used as a bridge. I don't think we've reached a point where we need that yet. Well, that's terrifying. A letter L and a hand holding a key. We can only put it down. So naturally we will. I don't want to hang that up in my little creepy uh, uh, kidnapped kid dorm room. We have faithfulness. Gentleness goodness self-control it's a very hypnotic noise I'm not sure how much it's coming through for you all creeps me out and it's just white noisy enough that I'm sure it's going to disguise a jump scare okay we've got a room here to our left creepy finger please salad fingers nope locked door we can run a little Look at the little hooves. Are those mine? Do I leave footprints? I don't. Alright, well, let's follow the demon footprints, shall we? <coughs> Excuse 
Excuse me. A new TV I can't interact with. I'm not going to follow them directly. Okay. I'm going to click every door. Jack in the box style. Waiting for a demon to jump out and eat my face. I don't have a face. Alright. Continue to follow the demon footprints down the hall like you do. Okay. It gives you the solution a little easily. But that's fine. We have our key components to pr progress the story here. Okay. So it wants us to go there. Now, you all know how I operate. We're going to do anything but that first. Just to make sure we've got our bases covered. Now I can observe that that says... It's a picture of a key. The key with the arm and the hand, maybe. Yeah. Where's the arm? I want to cut it off. Then I'll have my key. Then I'll have my key. Alright, demon footprints continue that way. I shall not follow. We're walking straight up like the one of those two now. Oh, that was the key. We have our key. Okay. It's not an inventory type item. I guess inventory is exclusively for things that like I can and can't use. What happens if I take my... Oh! Okay, <laughs> lesson learned. <laughs> we'll do it if I try to do it again. It's much nicer this time. Face cannot be unequipped. <laughs> oh, that was nice and creepy. Good touch. I'm having a lot of fun. I've passed through a hidden zone. And I stand by what I was going to say. Which is I'm having a lot of fun so far. Oh, there's something in here. Item added to inventory. It's the black ticket. Could be used to watch live entertainment. Gathered one of three. A hidden area. Dude. I'm super into this game. I'm sorry if this is crazy loud. I feel like it's meant to be as unsettling as I'm sure it is for you right now. And if you try to unlock it, it just doesn't. It's cool that you can just pass through. It feels almost like a bug. <sighs> Gulp. Oh, now we've got some sad words. Imperfection. Is. Oh, it's a sentence. Punished. All right. Oh, there's more. Bye. You're going to torture. Great. Sounds delightful. I'm stuck. Do we have a cutscene? Creepy, creepy demon head boy. Skull man. Demon head skull boy man. Who are you? Where's your face? Where's your smile? Smile always. This boy is what happens when shit gets real. Uh, sir, your head's about to fall off. Hold left shift. You have been killed. Oh my. Look at this. That was pretty cool. Okay, retry. Does it, do I have to start from the beginning? Okay, this part. <coughs> do I have my black ticket? Yes. Okay, so I don't have to do that part again. So am I trying to get away? I was curious. Can I hide in there? I'm going to test that first. I'm going to die repeatedly testing this. I wasn't clear that that thing was pursuing me. So I wonder, does it become like a stealth game, a run game? Might have the cutscene again, or as soon as I see it, do I have to run? We're going to find out together what the replay value is. Give me a skip option, though. Yeah, 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 we know. Seems that the game wants me to know that there's that door. Okay, we got skip. Okay, yeah, no, I know. Dying with me is a painless death. 
Can I go ahead? I don't think now it's time to experiment. <laughs> My way out's gone. Oh boy. Okay, it wasn't a good time to experiment. Don't make me rewatch this all though. Come on. Maybe I run up to grab the key, or maybe I maybe I do go down my little secret corridor. I'm gonna try that next, straight up. Although it does feel like it wouldn't be intended to be a secret if that was the intended escape. I'm really having fun with this one. It's gonna be cool if there's all these sort of different approaches and things you can try, items to find. I do wish you could skip some of these, uh, some of these different, um, cutscenes so like this one there's still like a good 30 seconds plus of shit you have to deal with actually rather than running down the hallway I'm gonna run toward the key under the assumption that that's my goal die with me is painless all right There's one way we could have gone. I don't remember any doors back there, so I'm not gonna do that. It's like an altar of some kind, but not apparently my way out. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, Lord, he's coming. Oh. Now, I think I've chased him around the loop, though, so I think maybe now I can get to my door. He seemed very confused. There was a door behind him that they really focused on. So I think that I did enough deception to make my way here. Did we solve our first puzzle? We'll never know. Can I get the creepy salad finger to click on it in time? He's going to be standing here because I think I've escaped him. Look at the slow zoom in. It's freaking locked. Did I have to go get the key again? Maybe... The key didn't stick in my inventory. Okay. That was the problem. Let's try this again. Does it have a description? May open a nearby door. Yeah, well, I didn't realize it got sucked out of my hands. Sorry to make you all watch this nine times, but uh, it let me keep the black ticket, but not the key. So collectibles stay, but uh, like story and quest-based items seem to zap away after a death, interestingly. It's a little bit of a shame that that's the case because like there was, for example, I got the key during the first moment of playthrough. We obtained it. We have this cutscene. Shows you the door. All fine and good. However, you don't understand he's a threat. He's creepy, but so is everything in this game. Uh, and then it just kills you instantly. Um, so it's just unfortunate. You never really have a moment to adapt. Alright, so now we gotta go do our weird loop. Which I am thinking maybe we'll do, be able to do more efficiently this time at least. We'll t then take it back, go straight for the door, key in hand. <coughs> it should be able to just be auto-used, that seemed to be the case for the, uh, the board earlier. Running toward the workbench, I realize we probably could have just done a full lap. I was wondering how much he would cut us off. It seems turning slows him down a bit. Well, not in that case. His little weird glitchiness is, is interesting. It looks like they purposely slow him down, though, as soon as you hit this hall to buy you a little space, because I'm sure there's meant to be a margin of error for how it can be kind of difficult sometimes to click on things that you're meant to interact with. All right, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Solid finger, solid finger, solid finger, solid finger. Let's go, we got it. We got our first game saved, so I guess that's a checkpoint for us. She's very sad. This one didn't make it. May happiness flourish on you who have prospered through the darkness. But happiness has left one, for I see a child with tears. Did you feel the darkness clutching at your heart? Did you feel it clutching at your soul? You should have listened to our instruction, child. Please guide her to, to, her, to her session. So one died one got sad these two identical looking humans prevailed 
You children still smile and have learned well. You will see past this night. Now travel back to your cell and rest until you must enter tomorrow's chamber. And that brings us to our first checkpoint. I am going to look into how long this is because I'm thinking if it's released in intermittent chapters and they're all like digestible length. I think this honestly would be something that's going to be fun to turn into a full Let's Play, and I'd like to see this one through. So keep checking back the channel for more for these. But for this uh, gameplay reviews first impressions, I really love it. It has a perfectly creepy tone. You can tell the atmosphere and tone is what they were going for in this game. I love the menus. I love the pop-ups. I love the way you interact with things. Sure, there's some questionable things as far as like how you skip cutscenes and you know what items stick in your inventory after death and things like that. But honestly. It's all meant to be puzzle, and all those things could be like tweaked or changed over time, if that makes sense. Um, but we'll see how much, how, like, how many sort of challenging moments there are, you know, where you could die or you're trying to figure things out. I just think in a puzzle game, you don't want to have this like long lull where, you know, okay, I want to figure out, okay, I need to do the loop, I need to get this item, kind of like we had there. But then you're sort of punished with like a minute of waiting and watching the same cutscene over. But again, that seems perfectly like fixable um other than that i absolutely love this again it's called my beautiful paper smile from two star games and v publishing i have the link uh to the steam uh page where you can download this and it, again it's out on june 19th uh, of this year so i hope you enjoyed this one if you did please hit the like button it helps out a lot if you want to see more hit subscribe we've got new videos all week long uh all the time and i'd love to have you around for those so thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time